now that we've finished creating our database, we need to add our information or the initial information. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create another function, uh, which I'll call function insert initial data. So I'll copy this and then come back to our functions, uh, the initial functions that run, and then I'm going to run this particular uh, function so that we have some initial data inputted. At the end of the day, we'll have to uh, modify that by adding new content in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the database prefix. So we'll need to get our global again, and we'll need to get our, our name again. We get the global, which is the WPDB, and then we use the insert method of our WordPress that's uh, on that particular class. So in the insert, we need to have the table name. After having the table name, we then have an array where we're going to put all our data. So in terms of the time, we uh, first of all, we have to wrap this in single quotes. So for the time field, we need to add the current time. So what I'm going to do is get the current time and then I'm going to get that from the database itself. We're going to use MySQL, so we'll get the MySQL. And then for the balance, I'm going to initially make it a string, which is zero. Go back, uh, deactivate this, and then I'll activate. And when I reload this, we'll see that we actually have our time in here. It's been added, of course, it's in a different format. Uh, I need to follow the changing this and just stick with what MySQL gives us. Uh, we have an account balance of zero in our database. I realize I have quite a lot of things uh, in here that have been reused over and over. So what I'm going to do is I can actually decide to add a class here. I can decide to change this into object-oriented programming, and then we can fix some of these and make them uh, variables so that we don't have to use them over and over again. So thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Next, we shall be looking at how we're going to save our data by uh, adjusting it against the current value of balance that we have, and then storing it in as a new field.